He packed his belongings on October 24, 2010 and left her as she cried and begged him to allow her to pray for him one more time. She knew he was leaving her for another woman, but still asked him never to forget how far they had come together. Grace Wanjiku Karyuki would next see her husband nine years later, not physically, but on TV screens. He was behind the well of a court, one and haggard, and, to make matters worse, accused of murder. As Joseph Karikaru bowed his head in shame before Akayambu court on Tuesday this week, standing next to a woman believed to be his latest mistress, Grace was inside her small house in Keo, watching the man she once loved soak in the police accusations of conspiring with his mistress to kill the woman he left Grace for. I was shocked beyond words, she said on Thursday. I was called by one of my aunts, who asked me if I had heard what had happened to my estranged husband. I saw the video clips of him in court, wiping his tears next to a woman I knew nothing about, accused of the worst crime under the sun. She had reached out to him last week, asking him to send money to pay school fees for their 11-year-old daughter. He did not respond to her message, but she was sure he would do so later, like he always did. Theirs was love brewed in Keo, where the two first lived as they struggled to make ends meet. Curry was a rice trader while Grace ran a small clothes business. She told of a man who knows how to love and could not stand to see someone get hurt. We met through a mutual friend and immediately fell in love, and after some time we decided to move in together. Our first rented home was a single room where we paid SH1,500 in monthly rent. We later moved to another house where we paid SH1,800 per month, she said. Because of the kind of business he was in, Cory used to travel to Mwia regularly and moved from retail shop to retail shop marketing it. She discontinued her business to join her husband in the rice trade, which she felt was more promising. On October 24, 2010, I lost him completely. He came to the house and packed all his stuff, including documents, and left. I tried everything to make him stay, but he had made up his mind. Since the news about the murder broke, she said, many questions have crossed her mind. What if I was in his life? Would I have been the one murdered? What will happen to his children now? What exactly happened, and who is this other woman? It has been a mixture of emotions. I have always prayed to God to fight for me, but never in my wildest imagination did I wish death on Mary. She may have abused me several times, but I have never wanted her dead. I am a mother and she bore a child whose veins carry the same blood as my daughter's. Her son is my daughter's brother, she said. Grace said she will stand with her husband now that he needs her the most, because she still loves him and, even though he left, she forgave him.